<laughs> All right, so uh, Justin St. Louis, Fremont PD, uh, Bay Area. I go to a call, guy's super drunk, and he's uh, starting to scare some of the customers, a uh, security guard. I get there, he comes out of the restroom. I go to contact him. I always make contact with the right hand, 90% are right-handed. When I go to make contact, right away he's confrontational, he lifts his hand up to his face. So he lifts his hand up to his face, I pin it over there. I see him that he's already trying to come towards me. I back up one second. As he takes out his headphones, he goes into his pockets. I pin him against the table. Once I have him against the table, I already know that it's gonna be a fight. Once the fight's gonna start, I ask for code three cover. I'm right here just in case I don't my weapon's away. I don't care if he tries to hit towards my head because I can just put my head right here. But because there's tables and a bunch of glass and silverware everywhere, I go body lock take down. Why don't I get into side control? And I just hold him here. And he's just talking a bunch of crap because my lapel mic is right on his chin. So everybody on radio is hearing it. I'm just waiting, waiting, waiting. Once I, once I can start to feel him a little bit, move and grab the stuff. I switch my base into a better side control, and then... Oh, Jesse. Yes. How long did you wait to it switch was, the first grip? I waited maybe at least 40 seconds. It was just good to hold you guys. The first adjustment where he landed, it was, it was nothing. for 40, nothing, guys, for 40 seconds. And then he moved a little bit, like he just said, adjusted the, the base. He adjusted a little bit after 40 seconds, yeah, and then and, what? And the story doesn't do it justice because of how patient and how yeah. calm it was. In real it's life, crazy. it was unbelievable, you guys. Great to watch. Yes. So I just waited here. I start to feel him around my head. So I switch my grip as he's reach, reaching around my neck. Oops. Once I'm here, I go to mount. I get into this position, protect my weapon. Partner comes in, holds his uh, arm down. I tell him, relax. He's still fighting. So now I maneuver this and get the, uh, get the Americana. Shot aloft a little bit. Other person comes in, get into full side control. Person gets the legs. I tell this person over here because there's a bunch of tables. Mm -hmm. Hey, move those tables out of the way. So I'm holding, pull the arm across, start to change, get to the same side. Once getting to the same side, twist the arm control. Um, tell him to roll. We get him to roll. Take the back. Other person had this arm. Cuff here, move, get to the top, then cuff here. And the cool part is his partner did this. Yes. Partner locked those legs up nice and tight, and it was all good. Uh, the guy was still combative after that, spitting on us and stuff, so we put him in a wrap. And then uh, just took him, uh, uh, took him to the uh, county. I've been training GST uh, since uh, September of 2018. I have to say it's one of the best programs that helps de escalate, uh, not use a lot of. Uh, violent force to subdue uh, a rowdy person or someone that's trying to be uh, confrontational. Uh, I think it definitely should be mandatory for all departments. It's definitely helped uh, some of our new recruits and open new eyes for our veteran officers. For those of you who have not looked into this program, it's definitely beneficial for you and your police department to lower that liability, instill confidence in your officers to handle themselves in the street without resorting to other options like deadly force. Please look into it. You won't regret it.